Striking your irons inconsistently can be one of the most frustrating things in golf. Whether you're fattening the ball, hitting the ground first, or topping or thinning the ball, it does not help you with your score. In this video, I'm going to show you three things that you must be doing in order to strike your irons correctly, consistently, and with good distance. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that are coming out. Leave this video a little like if you think it's helped you out and a comment to let me know how you're getting on. And if you want to share it with someone who you know is struggling with their irons, it's really going to help them out. Enjoy. So the first thing we need to understand is how to set up to the golf ball. Now we know that in order to strike our irons correctly, we've got to get a good turn into the backswing where we're not swaying over. But this can only be achieved with the correct setup. A lot of the time when I get people who are struggling with their irons, when they're setting up to the golf ball, they're setting up very much in a squatted position with their legs very bent and their back very upright and their arms are out like this, okay? What this does is with the legs, makes it very difficult to turn the lower body correctly and so therefore it goes like this a lot and then we'll start to get lifty and we'll start to sway across. The setup we need is one a lot more like this where the legs are a lot straighter, the back is much more over the golf ball with our chest pointing down and the arms are hanging freely as you can see here. Here's a great drill to achieve this setup. So what we want to do is start with our feet together, our legs straight and our back straight. And we're going to hold our arms straight out in front like this with the club going straight out, not up like this. From here, we're going to bend from the hip until the club hits the ground and our chest is facing the ball. You'll see that the arms are naturally hanging freely and I've got a good angle with my spine. From here, we're going to take two steps, two equal steps to shoulder width apart, okay? And with the ball position being fairly central as this is an eight iron. Now that we've got the correct setup, we need to move on to the second thing we need to strike our irons consistently. Now, from here, we've got to make sure that as we take this club back, we do not sway across with the hips and the upper body center line, which is where the zip is here, doesn't move away from the golf ball. You can see at setup, the zip is right over the top of the ball. Now, what I'm basically trying to achieve is as I take this club back, I'm going to rotate this hip and I'm going to rotate my upper body so that my shoulder, as I get to the top of the backswing, is directly over the golf ball. Therefore, the center of my body is still right over the golf ball. Great drill to achieve this is to find a wall, okay? So get yourself into that setup position and cross your arms over with your foot just on the wall. What we wanna do is try and rotate our body into the backswing so that we can get the arms just to touch the wall. Now, if you slide and sway with the hips, the hips are gonna hit the wall and you're not gonna be able to rotate your body correctly. So we wanna have the hip almost work away from the wall and have our upper body rotate until the arms hit the wall. And that is the rotation we're gonna need at the top of the backswing in order to strike our irons correctly. Okay, now that we got the setup and we've got the backswing correct, now it's time to feel what we need in the downswing and it's the final piece of this puzzle in order to strike your irons consistently. Okay, so let's start again. We've got our setup, take our two steps, ball fairly central. We're gonna rotate up correctly into the top of the backswing and now from here, it's our objective to get our weight transfer into the left-hand side and to then start to rotate through so that we can strike the ball and then scrape the turf after. Now what I see a lot of people doing who struggle here is they get up to the top of the backswing and they keep the weight on the back foot and what happens is, is they lean back and now from here this angle right here has to be released and it's thrown at the golf ball and it's basically just your luck as to whether you're gonna hit the ground, whether you're gonna catch the ball or whether you're gonna to top it. So here's a great drill to help you feel that correct weight transfer into the downswing. So what I want you to do just start again, get your setup, take your two steps. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our left foot into our right foot. And from here, what we're going to do is swing up to the top with our feet together. And to initiate the downswing, we need to step out, which is going to get our weight to transfer, and swing through into this balance finish position where the foot is right up off the ground and we're facing our target. Okay, so they're the three things you must do in order to strike your irons correctly and consistently. So let's put it all together and see how we get on. So we're gonna start with the setup drill. Take our stance. Rotate up to the top and then make sure we're getting our weight across and into that full finish position. What a strike. Thanks for watching this video and I look forward to hearing from you as to how it's helped your golf game. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future videos coming up. Leave the video a little like if it helped you out and, and a comment to let me know how you get on. And definitely share this with someone if you know someone who needs help with their iron striking. And yeah, see you in the next one.